you can that I apply for the grant on an annual basis, the fiscal year ending June thirtieth. The grant's been approved through June thirtieth, and Kathy would be the one to tell you how much money is left for us to draw on to spend all that money. Okay, so that right. yes, go ahead. so that gives you your total of twenty six five is what she applies for in the grant. Okay, but we're only at but in accordance with the budget, there's only twenty five thousand dollars there. So that should be twenty six five, and then the net effect on the tax rate is the negative fifteen hundred dollars. If she doesn't, if she doesn't have an accounting for travel, then then we don't receive that money. So we'll get less money in the actual grant reimbursement. This right. is so. I'm saying that if we we could lower it fifteen hundred dollars if we don't think we're going to spend it, or yeah, fifteen hundred dollars, and just leave it here at twenty five. Thousand, right. right. we could do that, or we can leave it at thirty-five hundred and increase it to twenty-six-five, and it'll have the exact same effect on the taxpayer's tax rate. In the odd event that she might need that money, we've applied for it, and she can be reimbursed for it. In the odd event that that may occur, I mean, is it is it very likely? Close. Sounds remote. Double, I, more than double. I agree, it sounds remote, and so that may be the avenue to take, but. You know, if she, for some reason, we do need a lot of travel for her to do, then it will be reimbursed by the state. But the question is that what people are asking is, if we don't apply for it as the total amount of grant, if we only apply for twenty-five thousand, are we only going to get twenty-five thousand dollars, no matter how much she travels? And that's, that's right. That's right. I just, that's I just don't want to finish, and I'm not going to say anymore. I, when we're budgeting, we should try to budget every line item for as close to being what we actually think the expense is going to be not just some arbitrary figure so we can go get a grant when you know you're not going to spend $3,500 in travel. You know you're not going to. That's twice as much as more than double last year's. I mean, it can't possibly be that much. That's all. I don't care what you do. Now, look, another, Madam Chairman, yeah. another option is we have the option to take money out of another line item to add to that item. To that line item Dino. if she goes over the whatever the bottom line you're trying to pass oh. it, cut, it comes out of her budget somewhere <coughs> she's already applied it seems to me about 20 minutes ago. We have a motion on the floor by representative chamber <coughs> second by representative mcconkey to have the travel expense at 0 0.070 at 2000 instead of 3500 any further questions? All those in favor of Representative Chandler's motion, raise your hand. One, two, three, four, five. All those opposed? One, two, three, four, five, six. So the motion fails. Do we have um, any further questions? Then 98,915 for uh, the victim witness. Is there a motion? Motion <coughs> Uh, Representative McConkey moves 98,915. Is there a second? Seconded. Seconded by Representative Schmidt. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? No. That's Representative Chandler or Chardanza? I'll, I'll vote no. What the heck? I'll vote no. Sure. Okay. Well, hey, we may have to have a count here. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gaining some momentum here. Chandler, Chardanza, Babson. <laughs> <laughs> Point of order, <coughs> Madam Chairman. Yes. Uh, I did offer to do roll call votes and do sheets if you would like me to. I'm because in the absence of Representative Umberger, I would be willing to do that. Yes, and also what happens is I can have Joe do that too. Okay. Or that. Okay. But you also have to write the motion, and sometimes. Yeah, yeah, this way. And I I need to be sure yeah. that I get the right motion on the piece of paper. Okay. <sighs> So we have Chandler, Traganza, Babson, and McConkey that said no. Okay, registry. What? I said no. I'm seeing McCarthy. No, McCarthy. I have McCarthy, a McConkey did not vote in the negative. Okay. I'm sorry. It was Representative McCarthy. <laughs> I think, I think oh, perhaps we should go to a vote. Now, vote. registry of deeds. What? We have a bottom line number of 509,894. Any questions? 
Does anybody like to make a motion? I'll make it. I'll move it. Make it. Representative Merrill moves 509,894. Second. And Representative Schmidt seconds that. Okay. Any further questions? Any questions? Yes, Ann, you're going to you know, get it. Is, it's probably I know okay. probably inappropriate, but I always have a problem when we're talking about the amount raised by taxation versus the amount. And the amount, the total amount you're using right now is not the amount to be raised by taxation. I understand that. Okay. Yeah, okay. I just want to clarify yeah. that. Yes. This is only the what it is for you to run your department and your revenues will offset it, but we're not worried about that right now. Okay. All those in favor of 509-894 say aye. 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 Those opposed. <coughs> we're okay on that. Okay, let's go to the Sheriff's Department. There have been some changes in the Sheriff's Department. Um, and uh, you see the updated updated uh, numbers and there is a one million seven hundred and fifty thousand four of it. Anybody have any questions? Yes, Representative McConkey and then Babson. Uh, Madam Chairman, uh, subcommittee has uh, several suggested changes that I do not believe are reflected in All right. where we are right now. Would you like me to run through those? Yes, please. Uh, line item zero zero four before 140004, which I believe is on page 8. Yep. Uh, change from the 20, let me get to where I am. Change from 26,667. Oh, uh, it, it is reflected. Uh, it is reflected. I'm sorry. That's 20. Due to 20,000, we had 743. It's up to 744. So that's yeah. that was one of our changes. Maybe these have all been done, Madam Chairman. Yeah. Okay. Next one is uh, number six from 41 to 40. It looks like if I could ask commissioners, have these all been adjusted? Yeah, they have. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Thank you. I won't waste any more time on that. <coughs> the changes of the subcommittee. Um, have been adjusted as of this yeah. worksheet. And there's a grant salary of 14000 You already know that, right? What's that? What's that? <coughs> Second, line. Second, line. Second line under grants. 40000 I don't know what that's for. Where, where are you? Why I'm you? under I'm under Sheriff's Department. That was oh, two. What's that? Um, Which line? Oh, oh, two. Oh, 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 two. Oh, is that for yeah, yeah. medicine? Yeah. That's a drug. Yeah, didn't ask for it. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> so Not bad. Yeah. No. <coughs> the forty thousand is for. Can you just that tell me what the forty thousand is? The grant and the salary. Oh, yes, oh, ma'am. That's uh, thirty thousand from the AG's uh, drug task force. And ten thousand from the Highway Safety Agency for speed enforcement. This is for that for our roving patrols. Yes. Okay. That's all. I, okay. That's good. All right. So Representative Babson, you have a question? Yes, yes I do. <coughs> About two months ago or three months ago, the sheriff's department came into the commissioners and stated that they were going to move the dispatch across the hall and they were going to use fifteen thousand dollars. And they wanted $15,000 out of pocket, and they were going to get, I believe it was a, a uh, $16,000 um, grant. Um, where is that inf reflected in, in this year's budget, or was it in last year's budget and part of the $24,000? Well, to answer your question simply, that was... That was in uh, last year's budget. The only update in this year's budget is 6000 under new equipment. And that's in a separate question? line item under dispatch. Wait a minute. Oh, you're under dispatch. We were on sheriff. Let's oh, wait a minute. What is, 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 maybe I'm confused. Uh, sheriff Conley, is, is the grant you're talking about under, under dispatch or under the sheriff's department? So uh, moving across the Last year there was a... $20,000 dispatch it came in under the dispatch. So okay. from, yeah, but, but that was last year's money. Okay. Well, then it ought to show up on the, when, when we get there, it ought to show up on the dispatch. And it doesn't appear to be. Okay, let's, let's, let's do what, there is a question out.
decide I'm out. It's out there. Outstanding question on the moving of dispatch from one place to another, right, Representative Babson? Yes. That's the question we have to do, and we want to see where that is. But at the moment, we're in the Sheriff's Department on page 8. Awesome. Yes, Representative Chandler. What's the new, what's the new equipment right now for 2015,000? And then 098 on page 10 for 27,000. Is that where you are? 15. One more. 15. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. For 15,000 on page 10. <coughs> What's your new equipment? Subcommittee was provided with a list. Right. One yeah, I was just going to say we get you an itemized list for that. And the subcommittee was uh, in agreement with the list as it had been provided. I unfortunately don't have that list with me here. I can get a copy of that if you, if you want that to us. Further questions? Yes, go right ahead. Line uh, <coughs> 414007, salaries for deputies. Complete with page uh, Page 8, line 414007. The amount being proposed this year is ninety thousand dollars more than was spent last year. I'm just wondering. What is that for what? extra mm -hmm. salary for deputies at five hundred thousand? No. Just, oh, what's the extra ninety? Well, that was extra, but <coughs> yes, that's it's that's a ninety thousand dollar increase over last what is year's it? expenditure. Yeah, what is it? Last year we mm -hmm. spent it four hundred and ten thousand plus. Now you want five hundred thousand. I, I believe two personnel have been added. Is yeah, we had, we had changed the uh, breakdown. Some went into admin salaries, and then personnel went into uh, that lineup. Uh, but as far as the per salary, there was, I believe, zero percent increase <coughs> per salary. I can get you that breakdown if, you, if you'd like to see that, Mr. Shane. Yes, because it, even if you say that it looks like you're 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 changing, it does look like it's you're you're taking it from administrative right. salary, which is one seventy eight last year. Yeah, that's uh, one hundred and eleven, and you switched it over to administrative salary, deputy salaries. <coughs> What are, we, what are we looking for? And then and Thank then you, Madam Chair. I, I think I know the answer to this. It's on the subcommittee, but I'd like everybody to know, where is the uh, uh, prosecutor's salary coming from? We didn't put that in. Right. That I know. 20, he, he 20, said it was 000. coming out of the deputies. Last year, it had come out of deputies. I did not fill two deputies, uh, two deputy positions all year. So that was reflected in that. Uh, and the sell, yeah, <coughs> cost of the prosecutor was taken out of those line items. Was taken out last year, from June until uh, well, June through December. What about this year? So this budget? It isn't accounted for. I mean, we have to. I, that was one of the things I was planning on asking for. I brought conditions. it up earlier. Represent, but re Sheriff, let's go to uh, Representative McConkie, yes. and then I'll get to you. You, you were operating understaffed the, the previous budget, but on, on this staff, you realigned personnel. And didn't you bring on two more personnel, two more deputies? Well, those were, those were the same positions we had last year that were not filled. So this year they have been filled. Does that, but the number that Representative Chandler is speaking of would be in excess of what it was last year. Union contract. But that's that's strictly for personnel and the union contract, but no one got higher salaries. Right. There was no change in, in salaries or any new positions at all. Okay. Representative uh, Mara. Uh, thank you. On the, uh, you've got administrative salaries and then you've got uh, deputy salaries, and then you've got a grant for $40,000 for some other salaries. So I guess my question is, I'm still not clear, 
where does this forty thousand dollars for other salaries go? And if it's the grant after this one year grants over, does that mean the county is going to be expected to pick it up? No, it's a uh, it's a grant through the AG's office. It's thirty thousand that comes in on revenue, as is the ten thousand. So it's offset on the revenue side. Uh, that thirty thousand is used for salaries for. Uh, special projects. If you want, I can get offline and I can do a detailed brief on where that grant is, is from this, and this is a, what the contribution This is additional money that the deputies get for doing additional projects? Is that what No, it, it's, it's additional money to uh, summarize, it's additional money to increase uh, security at the court complex. It isn't reimbursed by the AOC. Okay, and it's nothing that we'd have to re we'd have to carry forward. No, year. if the grant went away, it would have to be okay. uh, okay. either changed or you know <coughs> funded in uh, some other manner. And I don't think it's, you know that I would be approaching the, the delegation. Thank you, Madam Chair. Now, let me understand this correctly. You're categorically stating that the seventy-six thousand dollars in debt sell. Uh, Deputy salaries is for two additional personnel has absolutely nothing to do with the uh, prosecutor. That's correct. But That's correct. I think, <clears throat> Madam Chairman, I think what he said was he's not taking on any new deputies. He's replacing those that was vacant last year. I understand that. Okay. I understand that. Okay. Yes, I just like to point out that uh, <coughs> unlike uh, what may have or may not have happened in the past, this year's sheriff's budget was $110,468 under what he was budgeted for. And I think he did a heck of a job. The money wasn't moved around uh, from line item to line item. The discipline was there. And he, he did a heck of a job. And I want to know. I said that. I would, I'd like to point out it's $153,000 more than they actually yeah. spent. It's more, it's not less. Yeah. Right. It's what? More, not less. More. It's been 159 and it was budgeted for 10707 what you it, the budget with? last year's but this year's budget is more than last year's budget, and this year's budget is one hundred and fifty three thousand dollars more than they actually spent. No, I'm last talking year. about the difference in what he was budgeted last year and what he actually spent. Oh, oh okay. It was one hundred and ten thousand dollars under what he was budgeted. He was budgeted one point seven oh seven million, and he only I spent one point five nine seven. That's very good. So we should be budgeting from that amount that he actually spent. That's a true indication of. I just wanted to point that out. All right. And that's what I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> Representative McConkey. Thank you, uh, Sheriff. Uh, when we spoke last week, the uh, final number for uh, Cybertron was a number you weren't certain, and I think it's shown at twenty-seven thousand. Commissioners now say that they have a handle on that. Is that the right number, 27,000? Yes. Thank you. Also in the dispatch. Same one, too. But thank you. Okay, any other questions? Representative Alden. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank, thank you, you, Sheriff Conley, for taking my question. I just, I just, I, I need to get clear on uh, this discussion with the special prosecutor. Um, I understand the special, the special prosecutor from last year's budget was accounted for under uh, the deputy salary number 007. Right. And, you know, and essentially I concur that that's that a reasonable spot. I mean, obviously the prosecutor would be doing things that the deputies would normally be doing, going to court, getting things ready. That seems to make sense. And you had two less deputies. So that, that seems to make sense, but you, but now you fill the vacant those two vacant positions, but we still have the special prosecutor. How are we accounting for the special prosecutor in this budget? Where what where are we accounting for it? I would tell me is this the part time twenty thousand dollar position that you wanted to have available out of the county attorneys? That 
we don't have on the table that we talked about this morning Correct. that we don't have anything you brought that to the commissioners <coughs> after the time that you didn't bring that to the um, subcommittee so we have not put the twenty thousand dollar part-time special prosecutor in the budget representative mcconkey is you. that right um, i was provided with a with a a letter addressed uh, to Representative Unberger from the Sheriff uh, dated March 2nd um, requesting that change part-time position be $20,000 moved to the County Attorney's Office. Uh, Representative McCarthy can correct me. We never had this discussion and it was not brought up and it was never agreed to by the subcommittee. So it would appear, it would appear that there was a discussion going on and I won't say that the letter wasn't issued, it's right here before me, but it never came to the to our discussion and was not part of our process as of even this Tuesday. Subcommittee Chairman, forget to bring it up. Well, I would, if, if I could, I yep. would suggest that the Sheriff was there and didn't bring it up either. So, right. so both, both parties apparently didn't deem last Tuesday that it was a need. Yeah, we, if, if I may, if I could just blow on this. Uh, this this subject came up. Uh, I was asked to give some sort of course of action development between the sheriff's office and the county attorney, and we did that. And we recommended they go to the county attorney, and then they would be dedicated for having a prosecutor, you know, part time prosecutor for the sheriff's office, plus do other duties as assigned. Uh, that discussion was just prior to the last <coughs> subcommittee meeting. Uh, that letter was dated first first second of March. So, it, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's certainly my fault when I get in that, that whole subject matter in the forefront. But it's been out there percolating. I was hoping that it would have been brought up uh, uh, during the county attorney section there. The reason that it was not is because it was not on the table, and right. the delegation chose not to put it in the county attorney's um, bucket. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I would like to ask if I can get a line item. Uh, and I've discussed that with the commissioners for that part-time prosecutor position. It's uh, 10 hours a week, and it's approximately 19 five a year. I guess I'm in the same situation as we were before. We have this. I mean, the subcommittee didn't even talk about it, so why? I don't think it's anything that's, that's appropriate to bring up. Does anybody uh, disagree with Representative can, Chandler? People can vote on it if they don't if you agree want to. We can say no to it, but because it was not vetted through the subcommittee, and I think our subcommittees have been working okay. Representative McConkey. If I could pose a question to the sheriff that um, the gentleman I sit next to refers to time to time, is there some place that you could see removing twenty thousand dollars from your budget to fund that position? Well, we've we've paid this budget down. I know you and, have, and uh, I guess. You know, without going back again and uh, line item by line item, I guess my answer is no. Uh, however, I'm certainly going to you know, stand by and I recognize that I didn't put this forward sooner. You know, I, I, I certainly take fault for that. But it is very important. We need a prosecutor. Uh, they've proven themselves o over and over again. And plus, they, that, that person would also be available to other county entities as needed. <coughs> Um, this is a different subject. Well, let's uh, let's fit let's finish this subject first. Yeah, I I think that I think we have to decide yes or no. We're going to think about any of this. Uh, Representative Treganser, and then we'll go to Commissioner Sorensen. Is it appropriate, Madam Chairman, to ask the sheriff at this time if if he could go through uh, the, the departmental budget? And see if he could, if twenty thousand dollars could be removed. And since, since uh, we're obviously not going to finish the entire budget today, uh, perhaps we could take this up next week with with it, uh, modifications that that the sheriff might make between now and then. We can do whatever the delegation decides that it wants to do. I'm not going to put any words in anybody's mouth and make anybody say anything, so just decide. Commissioner Madam Sorensen. Chairman, um, I don't oppose this, or we don't oppose it, but what I do oppose is that the prosecutor 
not be hired more than what we're paying the assistant county attorneys. Um, last year, I believe that person was hired at 37 bucks an hour, and our county attorney's assistants are getting 24, 27. I think if it goes in, if you pass it and it goes into the county attorney's budget, I would hope that it would fall in somewhere where the um, assistant county attorneys are. That's, that would be my only problem. I can't pay more for one, and yet we've got some full-timers that are not making that much. Representative McConkey. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Um, if, if you have the feeling that we're done with the, or if we have any, if we're without any more discussion on this budget, then I, I would move the number as shown as 1,750,403. Okay, there's a motion by Representative McConkey. For one million seven five zero four zero three is the second. Representative McCarthy. Uh, no, 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 I have a question. Yeah, but can before we, we go to that, can we do a second before we? And you have something. You have that something might change that, that number. That might change that number. I'll second. I'll second it with Fleck, and now we'll open it to um, discussion. Question, yes, go ahead. Can you repeat that figure, please? One million seven five zero. Okay, the one that's printed on page 10. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Now, Representative McCarthy, you have a question. Yeah, uh, y yes. Yes. Madam Chair, um, if you go down to line, uh, I believe it's zero 01, no, it's uh, zero 013, retirement expense. Yes. It shows 119,125. I think that number is erroneous. Um, it should be 134,840. Uh, they are a group in group two, um, and according to uh, the, 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 the uh, deputy assistant sheriff, uh, the lieutenant, um, th th that's the new figure that it'll cost us for the retirement account um, zero, one, for the sheriff's department. Five. It's going to go from 119 mm -hmm. to 134,840. 134,840, and it's going to be on the retirement expense on yes. page 8 yeah. under line O, account number point O one three. Yeah. Um, and do we, is is that something that we want to? Uh, I'm not aware of that. Okay. If they come up at the subcommittee, I didn't make those changes. Well, if, if I could, Frank, Frank, uh, I'm Chairman, Frank's brought up a valid point. I apologize for not getting uh, there. The, the point of the subcommittee was that it, it looks like our unemployment tax um, numbers are incorrect because we've got an increase in salaries and those numbers are, are not reflecting that. And I was under the assumption when I saw those other numbers change that this yeah, has been redirected at. But, yeah. but, but was Representative McCarthy saying that it hasn't? Well, I, I talked to, uh, to Kathy today. She gave me the, the, the form. The form on it had 119, but she said that's going to be way too low. Um, and then um, I looked at uh, one of the pages we got from the deputy sheriff, and they did calculate the new figures, and it's 138. The the the, the, the jail went up 77,000. So right. you know, and they're a group two as well. So I knew that either the jail was too high or the sheriff was too low. It turns out the sheriff was too low. Okay. Madam Chairman, I withdraw my motion then. Okay. Representative McConkey withdraws his motion. Representative Fleck, do you go your second? Yes, okay. It looks like what we're going to need to do, do we need to have new numbers for for this? So what we're going to have to do is to put this off until the 26th. So we'll put the sheriff's department on hold for the 26th. Yes, Representative um, um, I just, when it comes to the special prosecutor, I, I think I can go along with the idea of if we're spending money on a special prosecutor in, instead of spending it on a deputy during the prosecution of the cases, on the surface of it, you know, notwithstanding, uh, you know, your considerations of how much they're getting paid versus the county attorney's office. I think I can live with that, but I, I think to, I think that the idea should be that, you know, the sheriff can 
apportion the money through his deputies however he wishes. If he wants to use some of that money for the special prosecutor and and not pay his deputy, not have as many deputies or have a part-time deputy in lieu of that, I, I think that seems reasonable and we can put that line in there and we can go with that. But, you know, I don't think we should be raising his 